Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. How are you? I've got just the most beautiful bottle in the world right here. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. But I, I do have uh, 1 million Royal here from Paco Rabanne. I know the bottles are a little bit love it or hate it, but truthfully, uh, kind of like it because the 1 million bottles of Paco Rabanne in general, I guess, are a little more ostentatious, a little more in your face, a little bit more, what's the word? tacky but with this one it's like just lean into it you know go ahead and slap a ruby on it who cares it's a gold bar with a ruby that's money on money my favorite one million bottle ever was one million Privé. f's in the chat for that one but we're getting sidetracked so let's move past that so in today's video i will show you the presentation and break it down a little bit for you and let you know how i think this one stacks up against some of the other releases that have hit this year so far so let's jump into it So I ordered this fragrance from Europe. I'm assuming it's going to drop in the US soon, uh, but I'm impatient. So I ordered it from Europe and it actually got here in a pretty uh, quick time, all things considered. Let's go ahead and take a look at this presentation. So here we have the box. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size and concentration on the front, like usual. It's a parfum concentration, it says. Paco Rabanne logo up top. On the back, you have a QR code. And also, it is made in France. It has a conscious and vegan formula, and it's very long lasting. Then on the bottom, my badge code and barcode. Badge code is 23551. And here is the bottle. So this is your typical 1 million gold bar style, but with a nice ruby right there on the front. You have the name of the fragrance, name of the house, and the size on the front of the bottle. Everything else looks like uh, just a normal 1 million. You have the atomizer built into the top. On the bottom of the bottle, you'll find your concentration. And then on the bottom of the back of the bottle, etched into glass, you will find your batch code. All right, guys, let's go ahead and share a couple sprays. Here we go. I mean, it's a, it's a 1 million. It's just a typical 1 million atomizer. Paco Rabanne's 1 million. A little bit of a love it or hate it fragrance line, but nobody can detract from the success of the line because the original 1 million is one of the biggest, best selling men's fragrances of all time. And there are the many flankers that have come out since the original, uh, some more successful than others that have spanned a lot of different styles. But one thing that does usually stay true with Paco Rabanne 1 million fragrances is they are sweet, and more often than not, they have pretty good performance. For me, One Million has been kind of a, a hit or miss line. Uh, there are some One Million fragrances that I think are very, very good. Then there are other fragrances that, while they were successful, uh, just didn't work quite so much for me and my personal taste. So, One Million Royal. When you first spray this fragrance on, it is sweet. Yeah, it's, it's quite sweet. So that trend, the 1 million sweetness trend, it, it follows along with that. Uh, no worries there if you're a big fan of having uh, sweet Paco Rabanne scents. You got another one to try out. And this one does smell quite different to me off a of tester strip versus skin. So if you get the chance to try this out, do spray it on your skin and see how it smells there. Because some fragrances will be pretty close off a of strip and off skin. This one to me is pretty different. So the sweetness off the top is gonna to be a mandarin orange, a little bit of bergamot, but the orange comes through more clearly. It's almost a candied sort of orange. You have a little bit of green cardamom there in the opening, but the cardamom is not as warm as you might expect. It's not like a for example, Lana Wheat Alone type cardamom where you have that, you know, that warm spiciness. No, nah, this is more green cardamom mixing together with the quite sweet orange. As it dries down, you get some aromatics that come out, but they're, they're not really all that prominent. Again, they kind of fall in behind the sweetness from the opening that carries over into the mid. And as it dries down, it changes quite a bit. That sweetness starts to kind of fade away. It gets smoothed out a little bit because in the opening, uh, One Million Royal does have that kind of like, <laughs> you know, 
youthful zingy sweetness some people might describe that as like a synthetic sweetness like a sugary kind of synthetic sweetness with a effervescent quality to it but yeah that's kind of how it comes across initially a little bit of green spice in there a little bit of aromatics but mainly sweet anyway as it dries down those uh those notes those accords they kind of fade back a little bit and actually what happens is the fragrance warms up and it gets this light smokiness good amount of benzoin comes out get this nice kind of warmer sweetness instead of sugary you know candy kind of sweet it takes on more of um a cozy kind of sweetness with woodiness and as i said a little touch of smoke and for me personally i find the dry down to be a lot more appealing than the opening and this is another fragrance where my wife and i are on like two different pages so she thinks the opening is awesome she thought it smelled great like the second that i had her smell it she was like oh yeah <laughs> that's awesome and i was just like oh yeah awesome great it's not that i hate the opening but it's not something i really want to wear uh, it's not something that i personally want to smell like it's done well I mean, for a Paco Rabanne one million type of fragrance, you know, you, you can see what they're going for and they did it. But for me, when I smell it, I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, just something that doesn't really appeal to me. Again, that's just my personal taste, of course. If you love this stuff, do not let me dissuade you. This is the type of fragrance that I can see myself recommending to people for uh, particular things, particular age groups, stuff like that. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think that this is a fragrance that has no merit, but I don't want to smell like it personally. At least that's my first impression. I thought to myself, maybe maybe if I bump up 1 million Royal, the opening, because that's the part that I'm more iffy on. If I bump that up against a few other fragrances that, that have come out this year, maybe it's actually on par with those, or maybe a little bit better. And then when I did compare them side by side, mm, yeah, I was, I was going for the other ones. Now, all that being said, the dry down of One Million Royal, I dig, I dig that. It's just, you gotta get through the opening to get there, you know? The dry down, it, it doesn't smell the same, but it's like in the same wheelhouse of uh, By the Fireplace from Maison Martin Margiela. Again, that little faint smokiness, that warm, cozy kind of sweetness could put you in a similar frame of mind. But the path to get <laughs> to that dry down is drastically different in By the Fireplace. Uh, versus One Million Royal. I do think this one would appeal a lot more to uh, people who enjoy that that sweetness that One Million typically has. Uh, younger guys through middle age, I think, could pull this off pretty easily. And I do think, as far as compliments goes, yeah, yeah, it would be a compliment getter. I mean, going back to One Million Parfum, I'm not a massive fan of One Million Parfum, but that fragrance will kill it if you're after positive attention. So One Million Parfum, I will never take that away from that fragrance. I just personally, you know, don't really want to wear it. And that's kind of the same deal with this one. In the mid into the dry down, I'm gravy, I'm good. The opening, I'm a little iffy. I do want to make it clear though, I don't hate One Million Royal. Just so, just so I'm clear there. Let's talk about the uh, seasons, when you would wear it, stuff like that. This is another new release that I think is a little better for winter and fall. And you could wear it early spring as well. I think once you get into late spring, when it starts to heat up and summer, I'm going for something else, especially because in the opening it is so sweet. And then when it dries down, it still does have sweetness just coming across in a bit of a different way with that little bit of smoke. But it's not the type of fragrance that you would think of as a summertime scent. And as far as daytime or nighttime use, it does lean nighttime use. This is one of those night out fragrances that could really do wonders grabbing you attention. You know, if you're out and about and you're trying to, you know, have something that's going to garner attention from people because it's, you know, a fragrance that can reach out and touch people. That sounds creepy. Keep your fragrances to yourselves. In terms of performance, it is a Paco Rabanne and it is sweet. It has above average longevity, above average projection. So it's one of those fragrances that when you first get it in, you know, see how it works off your skin, but I wouldn't immediately blast it on 15 times and go out somewhere. Uh, it'd probably be a bit too much. So one million Royal. This one, I don't know if I can really say that I'm disappointed in it because I do think that, like I said earlier, it accomplishes what it's wanting to accomplish, but I do wish that I personally liked it more than I do. So while it's not terrible or anything like that, it might be 
my biggest disappointment of the new releases so far this year, solely because again, uh, it's just not quite my style. But don't be surprised when I do recommend it in the future for younger guys or people looking for compliments and stuff like that, because obviously that's what this was made to do. And if that's all you're after, absolutely check it out. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. One million royal. If you smelled that one, let me know what you think about it. Thanks for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another French video. See you later.